Hey guys! So today I have another Tokyo Otaku Mode unboxing. Let's get a picture. Ah, Tokyo Otaku Mode. So I did another order because they actually, like right after I did my last order, they put something up on the site that I really wanted, that I've been wanting for a while, but it's kind of expensive. So I was making it a priority to eventually order again from them. So I finally did, and for the poster that I got this time, oh, I got another one of these ones, so I don't have another one of the generic ones or the ones that I always get it seems like. So I got that, but I got something else too, maybe I put it inside here. Yep, it's in here. I also got this time, which this was new, I didn't get a pen, I got a postcard. So this is a Tokyo Otaku Mode postcard. Oh, it's even labeled here in the back. So that was a cool thing to get. I actually, like, speaking of postcards, like, I bought, when I went to Disney last time, I bought some, uh, the Studio Ghibli postcards of, like, the movies. And after I moved, I have no idea what I did with them. I know I stuck them in a book, but I don't know what book I stuck them in. Ah, struggles. But anyway, they still had the free gift wrapping. So I, of course, added that to my order as well. So I'd get the cool bag. Oh, there. I didn't pull it all out at once, apparently. So, oh, wait, 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 wait. There was a pin in there. It was all the way at the bottom. So I lied. I still got the Tokyo Otaku Mode pin. That's the one I got last time. So it's going to go up there right where the last one's still sitting. So first up here, I did order another one of the puzzles. This is the same exact kind of puzzle that I ordered last time. I said in the last video that I liked the other image better. Which I still have it up here. Oh yeah, I do. So this is the one I got last time, and this is the one I got this time. They both are very pretty, but I, I did like this image better. But um, after getting it, I loved this puzzle so much and how I can put it together and frame it right away. Maybe want to get the other one. So if you guys haven't seen the other one, I will get this out so you guys can see what these puzzles are like. So they are plastic. These are plastic puzzle pieces. Um, if you can see there, see how they're clear and then the papers on the back. So they're plastic and they go together very nicely. And then it also comes with a stand because you can just put it straight in the stand. And then your instructions, of course. So that's the puzzle. So I'm going to get this opened now. There's actually a few things that went up new. They um, have a lot of card capture Sakura or Sakura, however you say it. They have a lot of stuff of hers up. They have a re-release of the Clo cards coming out. I actually have the original Clo cards. I have two different sets. I'm debating on whether or not I want to order them because they're like $40. So it is a little pricey for the Clo cards. Okay, so the first thing that I really wanted to order was the Sailor Moon musical art book or the um, program, is that what you call them? You know, whenever you go to like a showing, you can always buy a programming, kind of like if you go to an opera or something like that, you can buy a program. So I really wanted to get this for a while. The prices on eBay are excruciating for this. I got it, I think, for $20 or so on Tokyo Otaku Mode because they finally or they got it in. So that's the main reason I wanted to put another order in. But they also had a couple other things go on there and this one I was really excited about. And this is a Rosen Maiden art book and the cover is amazing. Like you see it's like silhouette and shiny. Is that the right word? Silhouette? I don't know. <laughs> metallic shiny but um so this is this is a really big art book actually so I will just flip through a couple of the pages here 
so you guys can kind of see. I still have to get the second season of this because I missed out on the right stuff when they are having the special. And this the second season was really cheap, so I missed that. Um, there's actually a little Japanese thing in here. But this is a really nice art book. If you guys would like to see a closer look at this art book or any kind of art books that I have because I have quite a few art books up here and I don't think this is going to fit up there. I think I'm going to have to move things around again so I can have another shelf for my art books. And then the next step is um, Hatsune no Miku. Uh, this is the Nendroid um, art book. Like They took the Nendroids that have come out for Miku and they took uh, pictures of her in like real life. Um, this isn't a super thick one but see they just have cute little realistic pictures I took of her but if this is another art book you guys would like to see up close just leave me a comment to let me know and I'll try to get it done as soon as I can um, I'm trying to do a new cycle of videos where I do um, haul review haul review um, I kind of want to mix in like um, a collection video in there too and a blind bag opening which is kind of getting hard to do. I'm trying to keep up even with just the reviews, being able to film those and upload those every other time because um, hauls, I, I have a ton of those filmed. It's the reviews I don't have a lot filmed and reviews take a little bit more time because I have to edit and um, move things around and stuff. So, But otherwise that is everything that I got in the Tokyo Otaku Mode unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!